What's up? What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here. I want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. I'm excited to have you here. Um, everybody's piling in right now. So um, as everybody kind of jumps in before this webinar maxes out, we literally are at capacity uh, with registrants. Um, so if you show up early, you get in. If you don't show up early, sometimes you can get locked out. If you're here, then you're just in time. I'm gonna congratulate you on why everybody is jumping in the webinar right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over our home screen. Um, so just go ahead and, and type in a one if you could see my screen and you can hear me. I don't have my camera on just yet. Um, you know, when we start these up and people start piling in, um, you know, sometimes it can kind of freeze up, go to webinar a little bit. So I'll turn my camera on here in just a minute once everybody pops in. But um, that being said, I can uh, show you all a little bit about the welcome screen um, if you're new. So on the right hand side, we have our social media. So make sure that you follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. That's where I am most active. So Facebook, um, I post tons of content. Instagram is a lot of content as well, but it's different content. And then YouTube, every week I release a completely free video that goes over something really epic. People have been giving me great feedback on my YouTube content. So make sure that you go to the links there and you subscribe to YouTube at youtube.com slash Adrian Morrison. Um, on the left-hand side, we have some Shopify tools. And, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, again, I say this every week, but we have new people come in every week. These tools are not tools that you, like, cannot live without. Like, you can operate a Shopify business without Coupon Hero and, and Wheelie Opt-in and Shipping Hero. But these are apps that are going to automate your business, um, allow your business to do things um, I guess more powerful things than a basic Shopify store could. And just look at it as I always say, building a house. When you're building a house, um, you know, you can get, um, you know, a hammer and some nails and some wood, and you can build it that way. Or you can have a nail gun, right? And you can have electric saws versus manual saws and you know all of those tools that really supercharge a crew to build a house um that's what these these tools do these are these tools these tools are things that will supercharge your store um when it comes to building it running it optimizing it and generating more sales so definitely check those out um i don't go over you know what each one is um, every time I do this webinar, but the links are there um, and you can definitely go watch the videos on those. Um, the ones I would recommend the most are Pixel Magic and Shipping Hero. Um, those two are game changers for people. Um, on the bottom, you see the essential fulfillment apps um, and these are really are essential um, for what I'm teaching. So. I've sold well over seven figures of products from uh, my number one pick, which is Pillow Profits. They are a completely private app. Um, so you can see that down here at amsecretlink.com slash pillow profits. And this app is really awesome because what it does is, and we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can actually use um, this app and, and other apps um, similar to it tonight. But essentially what this app does is it will allow you to do print on demand where you can sell some really unique products without having to have any inventory. Um, so I'm just trying to find it here. Where is it? Pillow Profits. <clears throat> there we go. And um, so, some of what we're gonna talk about tonight will be applicable um, to the use of this app because you're able to put really cool images or just simple phrases on doormats like my wife just bought a doormat for our house here in alice beach and it's just got an m on it it says welcome and then it's got an m logo on it so imagine how many people around the world have doormats with their last name or last initial on it and i i don't know how babe how much did you spend on that doormat 
Yeah, so she just told me that she spent over $30 on that doormat. Um, you can make them here at, at for 19 bucks at shipped out the door. So, you know, um, depending on how much you put on the doormat, you might can mark it up even more. So there are so many really amazing products in here that you can sell that people buy every day with simple letters or phrases on them uh, will suffice and you can create a very large profit with them. So that is at Pillow Profits. So make sure you check them out at amsecretlink.com forward slash profits. Then Shine On um, does customized jewelry that's drop shipped. Um, it's really, really unique. And Zendrop is like our replacement for um, our replacement for AliExpress. So if you're new, definitely go to these three links at the bottom left, amsecretlink.com slash profits. That'll give you access to the private app called Pillow Profits. Then ProfitPH.com slash Shine, that's going to give you access to the private app for Shine On. And then ProfitPH.com slash Zendrop is a private link. They'll give you some goodies um, when you get a free Zendrop account. So these are going to be key um, automated fulfillment apps you can plug into your Shopify store. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my webcam on. Hopefully it's not too dark in this room here. So let's see if everybody could see me. Can everybody see me? Um, I'm trying to get light on me in here, but uh, okay. So type in a two if you can see me so my team can make sure the camera's up. Uh, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip of my water real quick. Okay, so everyone should be in here about now. Uh, we just went over the welcome screen and I wanna talk to you a little bit of, uh, tonight about two different subject matters. Um, <clears throat> this is a continuation of last week. So make sure that as a new member here at the Profit Power Hour, that you go to your Access Adrian account. Um, you should all have a free Access Adrian account and all of you should have free access to the Profit Power Hour. So when you click on this little Profit Power Hour icon that I'm moving around with my mouse here, it's gonna open up a free members area, and you can go watch all of our previous replays. Now, you're definitely going to want to do this because it is going to <clears throat> kind of catch you up a little bit uh, with what we went over last week. And, and we talked about the three steps to building a Shopify subscription business. Hover your mouse over my profile photo, and make sure to subscribe to YouTube. Um, it'll notify you when we put out more private videos like this. So um, you can go back and, you know, you can watch the entire training uh, last week. And we talked a little bit about using other people's money and, and the benefits of credit cards and the benefits of uh, the points. And I actually showed everybody last week live um, how I just cashed out over $100,000 in cash money from rewards points I've accumulated on my American Express credit card. So remember this, if you're buying ads with uh, Facebook or Google or whatever it is, if you're using your debit card, you might not really be getting a lot of points. But if you have a really good credit card, Visa, MasterCard, um, you know, I use American Express, then you can get really great reward points. So go do the research and due diligence on reward programs for different credit cards. Choose the one that serves you best in your country. Um, mine paid me 1.25% uh, percent payout on my points. So um, it was crazy. Um, I'll be doing a YouTube video on it pretty, <clears throat> pretty soon. But um, that being said, uh, let's jump over here and let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. So today what I am going to share with you is a strategy that we are employing right now to build us lifetime customers with one simple trick. And um, you know, any high level e-commerce entrepreneur will talk to you about the importance of lifetime value. Lifetime value is essentially um, the, the term used for the value of a customer uh, once they become a customer day one, two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, what is their lifetime value? When you generate that customer over the course of time, how much are they worth to you? If they come in and they buy one pair of ear pods from you for 50 bucks and 
they never buy anything else, then they're worth their lifetime value is $50. But if you generate a $50 sale today, but two years from now, that customer is still coming back to your store through email marketing, subscription, whatever it is, and purchasing, and maybe they spent, I don't know, uh, $800, right? The lifetime value of your customer is $800. And so one of the, the number one tricks to success with, with e-commerce is how do you get that customer lifetime value up? How do you create a customer for life? And if you take a look at a lot of the stores that you visit, a lot of the stores that you shop from, I'd venture to say that a lot of you in here are lifetime customers of some brands or some businesses. So for, I'm not wearing a shirt today, but for five years, uh, actually no, like seven or eight years, I've been shopping at one online store, uh, a couple of online stores called um, Zara, ASVR, um, October's very own. Um, these are stores in, that I go visit and when I, when I want a specific thing, I go there, right? That's where I go. If I want gym attire, I go to ASVR. If I want some chill, um, you know, solid t-shirts, I go to um, Zara, I go to, uh, what's that other one I go to, babe? Yeah, the, I get the long tees from. Casey's in there. Zane Robe. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can't remember anything anymore. Uh, Zane Robe. I've been shopping there forever. And October's very own is uh, uh, the brand that has the owls on it. And you all know my company logo is an owl. So I like that a lot. Um, and so um, the idea is how do you make your brand that brand for your customers? Where it's something where they know, hey, if I'm going to go shopping for Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween or or I want this specific type of product or candles or watches or whatever it is, um, or I just wanna randomly shop for new cool things. Where is the place that I go? Where do I go when I wanna find new cool stuff? So one of the places that I go to find new cool things is called Uncrate. I've been going here for a while. I don't know, it seems like 10 years or something like that, but this is essentially just a blog, right? And um, so, what I was just talking about a moment ago, um, we were discussing like being becoming a lifetime customer of a specific brand for one specific purpose, like T-shirts or your favorite place to buy jeans, your favorite place to buy um, bags from, whatever accessories from. But a lot of times, people have a favorite place to discover new cool things, trendy things from, right? So Uncrate is a great example. If you go to uncrate.com, I've shown them before. Um, they're responsible for uh, depriving me of a lot of my money because I get on here at night when I'm bored. And I'm like, what's new and cool that I might want to buy? And I'm looking at stuff from um, tactical fire starting multi-tools um, all the way down here to some new sneakers to this cool uh, light armor. Uh, for Zippo lighters, to these sunglasses, um, to this H2O bottle right here. A lot of these things, like these are things that we could probably find similar on Zendrop and AliExpress and um, T-shirts that say specific things on them. So, um, you know, you could also, if you're running a general store, you could become that brand, that store whereby your customer knows when they want to discover new, cool, hot, trending things, they go to you, right? So whatever brand you're running, your goal wants to be able to, is, is to generate a lifetime customer. And one of the ways that you can kind of solidify and lock in a lifetime customer is using the subscription membership model. And so before I dive any deeper into this, Everybody jump into our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash profit ph and tell everybody to get their butt on the webinar. If they're not here yet and they've forgotten about it, just remind them to pop in here. We've got 18,800 amazing people in our Facebook group. If you're not a member yet, go to this URL and apply. We'll get you in in 24 hours because uh, we're about to get started. We're, we're talking about 
how you can use what we've been learning the last two weeks to build lifetime customers, how you can lock people in to being a customer of yours um, and wanting and thinking about you 24 seven. Remember, out of sight, out of mind, right? If you don't see something for long enough, you forget about it, right? Have you ever been worried about something or had anxiety about something, but then five hours goes by or a day or two goes by and you completely forget about it because you're focusing on other things? Out of sight, out of mind. And so that happens with e-commerce as well. You want to be at the forefront of a consumer's mind. And one of the best ways to do that is to use the subscription model and the subscription trick, um, just like the greats um, like Pier One do. Pier One um, does a very good job of making you continue shopping with them by offering a lot of different types of products, but also getting you to join a rewards program um, for <clears throat> 10 bucks a month and um, I think I was talking to uh, the owner of Pier One. Uh, I was talking to him last week on some social media app. His name's Ty. Um, and he said, I don't know the exact number, but he, I believe he said they had about 60,000 people in this reward subscription at $9.99 a month. 60,000 people. And not only are they billing those people $9.99 a month, but but um, they're making them come back to buy more stuff. They're making them lifetime customers because since they are committed and they are paying this monthly fee for a reward program um, to receive 10% off and free shipping and stuff like that, that means whenever they're thinking about shopping for something, where do you think they're going to go? Are they going to go to Amazon? Probably not. They're going to go to Pier 1 because they know that they got a 10% off lifetime code there, right? They know that they can probably get a better deal here than anywhere else because they're in this rewards program. And same thing goes with Radio Shack. I've been showing these <clears throat> the last couple of um, the last couple of uh, weeks because the model like we've discussed is really designed to build a perpetual passive recurring income where you can generate a sale today, but make money um, just simply rebilling people for uh, the opportunity, right? The privilege of being a rewards member with your brand, right? And you make a lot of money doing that, but if people aren't purchasing things from your store in the future, what are they going to do? Can anybody tell me what's gonna happen if somebody signs up for your reward program, but they don't shop at your store for six months because you're not really putting out any new cool items? Can anybody tell me? Just say in the chat box, we wanna review those, right? Um, they're going to cancel. And so if they cancel, they're definitely not a lifetime customer. They're canceling because they are departing. They're ending the relationship. They're not interested in what you have to offer currently. And so that said, what we really want to do is get them in the subscription model <clears throat> because that will pull them in and keep your brand at the forefront of their mind and their subconscious when it comes to shopping. And then we want them to buy more stuff because not only will you make profits from the rebuild, but you'll make profits from the other items that they purchase in the future. Does that make good sense? Just go ahead and say yes, if that makes sense, right? So I want you to understand the technical side of things, which is not really any tech, it's very simple. Plug and play, beginner friendly. But I want you to also understand the psychology of why we're doing what we're doing. Like anybody can, it's kind of like this. Um, you put two people in the exact same race car, all right? Literally, two race cars cloned. And you one of them has no idea, no idea how the car um, in itself works, right? The RPMs and when to shift and how the braking feels. They don't understand the car. And the other person is a race car driver. They understand the car. They understand the road ahead that they're driving the car on. Who do you think is going to win a race? If two people get in the same exact car, but one of them understands the mentality and the psychology of what is ahead of them and, and, and the vehicle that they are in. Obviously the race car driver, right? Because they're going to know how to move that car 
better, faster, and more efficiently. So when you understand your business, right, you don't have to understand the inner workings of it, how the engine is built and stuff like that. But if you understand, right, the framework and the foundation of the business and you're familiar with it, then you're probably going to have more success. Would you all agree with me on that? Just go ahead and say yes, if you would agree with me in that. And so that's what I want to do here is I want to talk to you about, um, you know, why we're doing subscriptions, why we're setting this up and how to make it more profitable for you, right? How to make it long term. And so when it comes to always being on the cutting edge and when it comes to um, you know, keeping people coming back to your store and acquiring new customers, subscription is great, but you are going to need to be adding new cool products to your store. Now, lucky for you, um, over here with Zendrop, uh, which I introduced you to earlier, um, it's really simple to find epic products, right? Um, if you're using Pillow Profits, then it's really easy to find epic products that you can put new cool things on, even if it's initials. Um, if you're using Shine On, that's another great company that you can cap use to capitalize on Valentine's Day, holiday, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day, um, Christmas and holidays. People buy a lot of jewelry, anniversaries, um, and, and stuff like that. So these are all great items that I've been teaching you how to sell that are relevant to the subscription model. But I do want to point something else out, okay? So as we sit here and we talk about the subscription model, all right, here's what we've identified so far. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is our... To make sure I got everything zoomed in. Y'all know I like to have it at 120. All right, so this is going to be our lifetime customer subscription. Model. All right, so our lifetime customer subscription model. Okay, so step number one is you want to have a rewards program. All right, so you want to have a rewards program that you can upsell. And this is going to create recurring profits. We've already identified that over the last couple of weeks. Would you all agree with me in that? We, we understand that we can have a reward program, essentially thin air, and sell it, right? And give people, um, give people some really cool benefits that they maybe or maybe they won't use, but either way, they're paying for it. Just like if you pay for a gym membership, if you don't go work out, you're still paying the gym membership fee unless you cancel. Does that make sense? Yeah, right? So if you buy a car and you don't drive it, you still have to pay for the car, even if it sits in your driveway. Uh, it doesn't matter, you're gonna make that payment. So with a reward program, we're upselling people into the reward program and giving them benefits, right? So that's step number one. We need to upsell a reward program, and this is gonna give us recurring profits. When I, when I mean, by recur recurring profits is um, every month, what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild them We're going to rebuild them 10 bucks or something like that. All right, so this is like a free monthly uh, cash money. All right, so it's free money that you're going to get every single month recurring profits just so because we're selling we've sold a membership now part number two of this all right step number two is once we've identified like what we need to do um we need to <clears throat> build the reward program And we want this reward program, right? This reward offer to be a six 
sizzling offer. All right, so this is supposed to be fire, just so y'all know. We want this offer here to be a sizzling offer. We want it to be on fire. We want people to see this and be like, wow, this is awesome. We want it to be a hot offer, okay? That's fire, just so y'all know. So step one is build a, uh, set up a reward program that we know we're gonna upsell to people to create recurring profits. Step number two is build the reward offer, okay? So this might be that they're gonna get, uh, you know, anywhere from 20% to 40% off the entire store, okay? Um, this is also might offer them free shipping on all orders. This also is going to offer them, maybe we could even give a give them access to an, an exclusive Facebook group. Now, this Facebook group that we could give them access to um, would be where we release new future products there before we send to an email list or whatever. Um, so our members feel like they're going to get notified and the opportunity to purchase new things um, <clears throat> before the rest of the world can. So they ensure that they get it before it sells out if you have offers that sell out. Does that make sense? So when you're building the reward offer, you wanna think about what are the key words here, right? That get people to want to take advantage of this offer, 20 to 40% off free shipping, exclusive uh, Facebook, uh, an exclusive Facebook group, and you can start adding other perks in, right? And the offer you could also have here as an offer that is um, your, it's free on month number one, then it is $9.99 a month thereafter. And they can also cancel at any time. All right, so believe it or not, <clears throat> These are key words that will help you sell, all right? So when you're building your offer, you're, you might be thinking, Adrian, why didn't you put the price of the subscription offer up here in step number one, where you're building the reward program? Well, this is just step one is realizing you need one and you need to upsell it and it's gonna create uh, recurring profits. But a part of selling it is still giving it away free for the first month here. And telling people that they're not locked into a contract and that they can cancel at any time should they desire. So when you give some somebody something free and give them a discount um, and give them their first month free, they're going to be like, okay, I'm going to take this. Maybe I'll cancel it later if I don't want it. Some people cancel, some people won't. But it makes it a no-brainer for people to get into this rewards program. We'll talk more about this as we, um, you know, as we progress. Um, in this series, but when you do this, what it's going to do is it is going to skyrocket your conversions. All right, so if you want people to join the rewards program, give them the first month for free. Okay, you can skyrocket conversions when you give people an easy out and you give them their first month for free. All right, that's step number two. Now, Step number three, all right, we're gonna talk a little bit about this tonight too, and then we're gonna get started building this out together. All right, so step number three, we will do it with pink, okay? 
So with step number three, you want to have, um, <clears throat> you want to surf trends, or you want to have, uh, what's the word I could look for? Um, this in terms of LTV, <clears throat> you want to, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm kind of, uh, my brain just froze real quick. Hold on. It'll come back to me. Um, uh, so, okay. Step number three is you always want to have sizzling products. That's what I'm looking for here is always have new sizzling products okay so you always want to have new sizzling products and these products are essentially products that we know people want we know that people are looking for and they're very targeted products, all right? When we have sizzling products, we know that they are products that people won't write this very second. So to have a sizzling offer, <clears throat> we need to always be surfing trends. We always need to be rapid testing new products and we need to understand in this particular model more options equal good all right so that actually contradicts what i've always said i'm willing to admit that I've always said less products, more focus equals more success. And that is in fact still true. Less products and more focus equals more success. But here's the thing, your product that you're focusing on is a reward program. Does that make sense? That's the product. All of the other things that you put on your website they're literally just like lead magnets that's what they are they're magnets to get people to buy something from you so they will join the rewards program so when i say less products equals more focus and then i come down here and i say but more products is a good thing more uh more options equal good or um i should say more products equal more profits okay and it's because these products are nothing more than lead magnets i even think i wrote this last week these are just lead magnets is what they are now you might find yourself advertising something that you are not the least bit interested in right you might find yourself marketing something that you never thought that you would ever be marketing uh, because you understand that it is like a magnet that will pull profits in, right? You're wanting to pull profits into your, your uh, store, into your business. So there's really just three steps here. It's realization that you need a rewards program awareness, right? We talked about that the last couple of weeks. Understanding that the product is the recurring profits you generate from the reward program. And step number two is the reward program that you offer has to be hot. It's got to be a good deal. It's got to be easy and simple for someone to purchase. So um, when you're building your offer, and I'm going to show you how to do this in just a little bit, 
um, 20 to 40% off the entire store, free shipping, exclusive Facebook group, free your first month to join today because you can get all the benefits free for 30 days and cancel if you desire to do so afterwards. Otherwise, we're going to charge you $9.99 a month and you get to take advantage of all of these epic benefits in the future, right? On future purchases, which will save you far more if you become a lifetime customer. These step number two makes you a lifetime customer. Step number two ensures that subconsciously and just consciously, when you are going to shop, you're going to say, oh, okay, gear grabber or so-and-so or whatever, because I'm a reward member there. I'm going to go check this out because they always have new sizzling products. They always are on the top trends. They also always have products for apparel and ever, all the cool niches, right? So we're gonna go check them out. See, you see that this right here legitimately is a three-step um, blueprint to a profit machine that is perpetual and passive, right? And so once you understand this and how it works and you, you actually take action on this, then you're in the Ferrari racing the other Ferrari, but you're still going to win because you know what you're doing, right? You know why all of this exists. So when it comes down to building the reward program, okay, and how to upsell it, we're gonna talk about that. When it comes to <clears throat> um, setting up the discounts to be automatic, you don't have to give somebody a special discount code every time they buy. There is an app that you can download into your Shopify store or install, I should say, that will just recognize when one of your reward members is shopping, um, they will recognize that they get these benefits, right? They have a membership account. And then um, in terms of always having new sizzling products with home run potential, this is gonna require that you keep your eyes open and you have your eye on the ball and you're just aware, right? And I'm gonna give you a really good example right now of how you can surf a trend um, into a profit wave. So this would be, I guess, a wave here. Uh, this is a terrible wave. What on earth am I doing? All right, that's a wave. There you go. There's a wave. And um, here is a surfboard with someone surfing on the surfboard. So let's just say this person here is chilling and they are surfing this profit wave. All right, you always wanna be surfing the profit wave. Um, so, there we go. Y'all like my surfboard? All right, so this person here is surfing the profit wave, surfing trends, how do you do that? All right, so here's one great example. The last couple of days, I have witnessed something so ridiculous and so insane i just honestly i can't believe it like I, I i'm flabbergasted at how like dumb it is but does anybody care what i personally think is dumb you should all be saying no you it does not matter what i think is dumb the only thing that matters is does it profit right you don't have to be passionate about something to profit from it. And when we get new students that come in to Ecom Success Academy and into our coaching and our programs, they're always like, I'm passionate about filtered water and I wanna start my own water company with my own unique water bottle and I wanna sell the best dang water that people have ever tasted, the most purified water. So I wanna go spend $20,000 developing a cool bottle and, and bottling a bunch of water and hoping that I can ship it. Or I'm really, really passionate about selling home decor. So I just wanna sell home decor and nothing else. Well, that's the fastest way to fail. Because you are cutting yourself off from the opportunity to surf trends, <clears throat> to rapid test products, and to always have a sizzling offer, to always have a sizzling product that you can surf upon, right? So <clears throat> let me show you an example real quick. Um, I, I'm on Instagram, and as I was going through Instagram the other day, 
um, I just kept noticing in my feed something really strange. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me pull my Instagram up real quick. Okay, so while I was scrolling through my Instagram, I just noticed the craziest thing. Okay, so here's my Instagram. If you, if you don't follow me yet, go follow me. And um, I noticed all of these people, these random people, um, that thought it was a really good idea to partake in this opportunity to walk up some milk crates and then try to walk down them, right? I think this is kind of the guy that, that started it all. I don't know, uh, <clears throat> you know, what made him think, hey, let, this is a great idea. Let's, uh, let's walk up some crates with no helmets on or pads and, and all that. And, and this kind of like started a trend just a couple of days ago um, called the, <clears throat> the um, milk, or what was it called? The crate challenge. So if you go to Instagram and you just simply type in crate, hashtag crate challenge, it'll, I'll show you, it comes up up here, crate challenge. There's already 29,816 posts under that hashtag just in the last couple of days. Now, um, you'll notice that a lot of these posts are people completely busting their butts and falling because it's very hard. And so everybody wants to try it and they're willing to risk breaking their leg or their neck or their life uh, to go up and down some crates. But we are literally right now still in the infancy of this. It's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger as the week goes on until inevitably we're probably gonna start seeing people like posting hospital photos and whatnot, I can imagine. But I mean, look, even right here, it appears that a cop is doing it. So um, you got, uh, I guess, a cop that was on patrol, stopped by and said, yo, I'm going to try to go up these these crates here. Let's see if he does. I mean, he might bust his butt. And up, 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 and he just busted his butt, okay? Just don't mind the bad language that's on here. It's just a part of Instagram people <clears throat> uh, curse. So there, if you look at this hashtag here, we talk about, you know, having a sizzling offer that is magnetic. Look, there's even memes right now that say my entire timeline right now, this is getting out of hand because it is blowing up. And you're gonna start seeing this, it's just incredible. Like you're gonna see, if you just go here and you watch all of this, I mean, it's got celebrities, um, just tons of people making memes about it. Um, and people are just going crazy over this crate challenge. It's It's insane. Um, you know, people over here are just tripping out over this. Everyone is doing it. So how can you look at this and, and surf this trend right here that everybody's blowing up? Well, one of the things that, that you know, people are that attempt this, um, attempt this challenge are proud of is actually finishing the challenge because I've been watching and it's freaking crazy. I don't know how the heck people do this. I certainly uh, wouldn't try to do it. Some people finish it. And smart marketers are already capitalizing on this challenge. So when we talk about, I'm going I'm to show you an example here in just a moment, but when we talk about step number three, always having a sizzling offer, right? That is like a magnet that draws people in to, to create a customer. So you can upsell them your reward program and make them a lifetime customer by giving them epic deals so they come back and buy more cool things, right? So it's kind of like reverse engineered here, right? Um, you got the sizzling product that really reels people in and that you find sizzling products by surfing trends. And the more products you have, the better because the more options, the more options that are available, right? the longer people are gonna stay in your reward program, because if you only got three things for sale on your website, then guess what's gonna happen whenever uh, whenever they come back? They're like, there's only three things for sale on this holding website, what the crap am I gonna buy, right? So if you have a rewards program, more options, more products, gives them more things to purchase and put their rewards program into use for, right? and justify them 
purchasing in, in next month and paying next month of this reward program, this perpetual profit. Remember, so I buy a t-shirt, they, they buy a dog collar, they buy a whatever. And then even if they don't purchase anything in the future, you will still bill them $10 a month, just like a tanning bed membership. When you go join a tanning bed membership, it doesn't matter if you come in and, and sit under some, you know, uh, cancerous ultraviolet lights for 20 minutes or not, they're going to bill you the $50 for the privilege of having that membership. And that's what this is right here. They pay for the membership and they justify the membership because you always have cool new products. Maybe this month you didn't have anything they want, but if you're always adding new products and you always have uh, the new stuff on the newest trends in your store, then it helps justify paying this monthly fee every single month so you can literally like clockwork make money without even actually having to sell anything people are just paying because they might want to use the discount in the future does that make good sense right so what's a good example of how this would work so speaking of this crazy viral um crate challenge which is quite dangerous um <clears throat> i decided to employ my uh number one strategy for finding hot products for print on demand I call it my Etsy sneak attack, okay? So the Etsy sneak attack. And I went in to Etsy and I typed in crate challenge. Now, uh, you're gonna notice that there are intelligent marketers already, not many, but there are some intelligent marketers here that are already putting milk crates on t-shirts. And like I said before, <clears throat> The number one thing that people are trying to, there's actually two things people are trying to do. One is to complete the crate challenge because it is hard. So if you complete the crate challenge, you deserve a freaking t-shirt, okay? If you if you get past the crate challenge, you deserve a shirt. Well, if you want to play the crate challenge or whatever, watch this. This person on Etsy has already created um, a shirt here that will, um, create uh the crate challenge champion 2021 look how simple this is right and of course they're already making sales right so look at this it's incredible it is insane right so they're on top of the trend and then of course the second thing that people want to do is they just want to freaking survive so you might have people that go do the crate challenge this weekend and then this pops up in their feed. This company said 996 sales, and it just has a stupid crate on it that says, I survived the crate challenge. That's it. I survived the, the hashtag crate challenge. I mean, come on, right? You wanna talk about surfing a trend? You wanna talk about staying relevant and having the newest, latest things? This is gonna sell like straight fires. I survived the crate challenge. You could also have one that says something like, I'm not dumb enough to do the crate challenge. So you can appeal to everyone. You, you got this person's got someone uh, falling, says got crate. This one says stepping it up. This one just simply has a crate on it. And you'll notice there's not very many on here for sale just yet because this is a brand new thing that just over the last two to three days has uh, really taken off. And so I would definitely go check out, <clears throat> definitely 100% go check out uh, uh, Etsy here and go look at the hashtag and find these designs. And then you can go to Fiverr or you don't even need a designer for some of these and go launch shirts like this. But this would be a great example of how you could stay on top of a trend, right? Is everybody with me on this? Just say yes. All right, so that's an idea of print on demand. Let me try something else. So <clears throat> Google Trends is another tool that we use to stay on top of what the trends are. And I just searched on Google Trends over the past 12 months um, the crate challenge you see up here crate challenge and you're gonna see there's literally nothing but as of literally this week it is just skyrocketed to 100 100 um, popularity so if I go to the past 
uh, 30 days, you'll see where it took off on August 20th. If I literally go to the last seven days, um, you're going to see just over the last couple of days here how it's really popped off. So this, what we're witnessing right now, y'all, is the wave is forming. The wave is not even fully formed yet. There's still time to catch that wave. But eventually the wave is going to form. People will have ridden that wave and then the wave is going to do what? It's going to crash, right? And sure, when a wave crashes, you can jump on a boogie board and catch a couple of seconds of a short, tiny thrill. But it's the, the people that surf that wave from the deep end uh, that really got the ride of their lives. So this is a great way for you to pop into the print on demand space um, and take advantage of something really simple. But remember, this isn't the product, right? This is your goal is not to make boatloads of money selling the crate challenge uh, t-shirt, right? The product, th this is a lead magnet. The product is the reward program that you're going to upsell people into. Because if you recall over here, whenever somebody purchases a program, um, I'm sorry, when they purchase something from you, let me just jump out over here to uh, Gear Grabber real fast. <clears throat> Whenever somebody makes a purchase on your store, I think I believe I had it over here um, just as an example under fine jewelry. My dogs are excited. I believe, let me find. What we wanna do is when people are shopping for that crate shirt or they're shopping for whatever it is, that underneath the buy button, it says, hey, get 20% off your order today and all future orders and get free shipping. Now, that's gonna make it very appealing for them when they're purchasing a crate shirt or a crate challenge. Remember, and it, the crate challenge doesn't have to be just a t-shirt. I mean, if you're using Pillow Profits, it could be a floor mat, a purse, shoes it could be anything you know i'm sure there's some really interesting ideas uh you could put them on hats you could put them on yoga pants you could put them on face masks there's a lot of different things that you could do here um but that's not the point uh the point is is that when people are shopping on your store right and they're going to make a purchase sorry i've lost my tab they're going to make a purchase you can sell them the rewards membership Give them the first month for free or charge them for the first month. Either way, they're going to get a savings on the product that they're trying to purchase right now. And now what you have done is if they take this reward upsell that's underneath the add to cart button, you have created yourself a lifetime customer. And as long as you follow step number three, which is to always be adding new products, don't let your product selection go stale, then that customer will probably be able to justify paying you every single month for the opportunity to get a discount because you always have the coolest, latest things um, in stock. Now, how do you know what the coolest, latest things are in stock? Well, look at Google Trends, follow hashtags on Instagram. Um, again, I look at what Radio Shack sells because a lot of their electronic stuff, like these lights right here, um, these this all stuff you can drop ship and find on uh, on Zendrop, so for example, Zendrop is that supplier, right, that's in America that we can use to drop ship. And you can see here we can get things literally shipped within 10 days in the US and international. So I'm just, look, it's just about having awareness. And when you become aware, you have a new type of vision. You start seeing things you never saw before that you were blind to before. So step number three is easy. Duplicate what's working right now. Duplicate whatever the trend is right this second on Pier 1, on Radio Shack, on, on Uncrate, on these popular sites, on popular hashtags. And, and then from there, you're able to surf. And as you're surfing, right, um, as you are surfing with bullseye targeted offers, you are drawing in like a magnet people to your rewards program that is a sizzling reward program, by the way, that gives them great benefits great high conversions, perpetual passive income, and all you have to do is ask, would you like fries with that? The number one upsell in the world, would you like fries with that? When somebody's purchasing, 
whatever hot viral product it is that you're selling or everyday product that you're selling, a, a floor mat with the letter M on it, like my wife just bought us and spent $30 plus shipping on, ask them, would you like fries with that? In other words, would you like to join a reward program and save 20% off today's order, get free shipping, get uh, free returns, and join our exclusive Facebook group for future deals and drops before anybody else gets to see an item sell out. And oftentimes, all you have to do is ask, and so many people will say yes, that's the beauty of an upsell. You ask, they say yes. If they say no, nothing lost. If they say yes, significant amount gained. A lifetime customer, perpetual passive recurring income, a bigger business that dominates anybody else out there, even if they're selling the same product as you, they can't beat you because you have a better operating business, right? Just like I said before, you put a race car driver in a race car and a regular person with no knowledge whatsoever of driving a race car in the race car and the race car driver is going to smoke them. You won't even be able to tell that it was a, the same car, the same speed, the same engine, the same suspension, right? It would make no difference because the race car driver knows how to operate the vehicle. When you have the vehicle and you know how to operate it to maximum capacity or maximum potential, you're going to smoke everyone else. Even if they are selling exactly what you're selling, they will not be able to keep up with you. That's why you need to keep getting on these webinars on the Profit Power Hour. Every single Tuesday night at 9 p.m., you need to calendar it and you need to commit to being here every week. And what we're going to do next week is we are going to build the reward program so next week i'm going to show you exactly how you can take step one and step two and put them together okay that's next week and then we're actually going to uh you know do the next part of it which is getting people within the app um to get their automated discounts and managing those memberships with a automated tool requires no tech experience whatsoever it essentially is done for you um, so I'm excited about that. How many of you in here are excited about that? Yes, just say excited. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna jump into our Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Profit Power our Facebook group, grow, go apply to the Facebook group. And I'm gonna jump in there and I am going to give away some cash money to a completely random person. Um, you can join the group at facebook.com slash group slash profit ph. And remember, be here every single week every tuesday don't rely on replays don't rely on i'll miss this week and go next week it needs to be a habit when it becomes a habit and a routine your level of success and your potential to achieve your goals is going to increase just like if you uh, go to the gym and you're working out if you work out once a week um, you're not going to get great results but if you work out on a proper schedule four to five days a week, you're going to get faster results, right? So the more often you can educate yourself, the more often you can attend this webinar and the more often you can consume this content and then put it into action, the faster you're going to see success, the faster you're going to grow and the faster this could potentially become a full-time income for you. And you're getting free training every single Tuesday by me and free cash money giveaways with no catch. Like there is zero catch whatsoever. I just do these for free for you because it helps so many of my students succeed. So I love you all. Um, if, just, if it's your first time on this webinar, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can go back into your Access Adrian account and watch last week's replay. What we're talking about now is selling products with the intent of really just getting people into a reward membership program where they get discounts and we can rebuild them every month and build a recurring income. Imagine waking up every month and already being 20, 30, $40,000 in sales day one, just because you have recurring income that is scheduled every single month. It's incredible when you do that. And I've been running recurring income businesses um, now for, probably I would say about six years just outside of the e-commerce sphere. So I know very, very well, even outside of e-commerce, how important recurring income is. 
and how passive it is. So that said, make sure you jump in the Facebook group, make sure that you get here next week on time because we are about to take these three steps. It is, we're done talking about the framework, okay? Now it is time to put it into action. We're going to build it and we are going to launch it and then we are going to watch it um, and see what the results are and it's gonna be incredible. So go to the Facebook group, we'll do the giveaway. I love you all, thanks for being here. I wish you a ton of success. Don't be walking up some crates and busting your butt, but make money off of the whole entire challenge and all the people that are, well, to be frank, dumb enough to try it and risk breaking their neck. Um, so that said, um, that's it for tonight. And I will see you in the group. I'm going to do the giveaway and I'll see you next week at 9 p.m. EST on the Profit Power Hour. All right. Good night, y'all.